Well, that's a funny way of putting it. This panel pokes fun at the way physics operates, particularly reflecting the discovery of dark matter. So it's 1933, and there is this Swiss-American astronomer Fritz Wicke who was studying the Coma Galaxy Cluster. Wicke noticed something strange. The galaxies were moving way faster than they should based on all the visible matter we could see. According to him, there had to be some missing mass we couldn't observe that explains these movements. The truth about this missing mass will remain a mystery for decades, until the 1970s, when American astronomer Vera Rubin and her colleagues provided strong evidence for its existence. They found that stars at the edges of galaxies were orbiting way too fast. The visible stars within a galaxy had only about 10% of the mass needed to explain the orbital speeds, and to account for this, a missing mass must exist, dark matter, because we can't see it. Dark matter takes up space and holds mass, but it doesn't reflect, absorb, or radiate light. Scientists have measured that dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe, and while we can't directly observe it, the leading theory suggests it's made up of some new particles we can't measure yet. The visible mass we see is only 5%, dark matter is 27%, and the remaining 68% is something even more mysterious called dark energy. In the 1990s, astronomers Astronomers were studying distant supernovae. Their goal was to measure how the universe's expansion was slowing down due to gravity. To everyone's shock, they found the opposite. The universe's expansion was actually accelerating. This was revolutionary because it went against what was previously known. Gravity should be pulling everything together, slowing cosmic expansion. Finding that the universe was expanding faster and faster was like throwing a ball up in the air and watching it speed up as it goes higher instead of falling back down. To explain this acceleration, scientists propose the existence of dark energy, a mysterious form of energy that acts like anti-gravity, pushing the universe apart. The nature of dark energy is more hypothetical than that of dark matter, and many things about it remain in the realm of speculation. That's why some physicists joke that we are 95% stupid, because we don't really know anything of dark matter and dark energy which makes up the majority of the known universe. Everything we know and can see is just a tiny 5% of what's out there.